Welcome to Nerdstradamus' 13 Days of Spoop. Let's talk about a classic from 1972. We're going to talk Tales from the Crypt. If you're familiar with the 1989 TV series starring our favorite Buster Bunny, believe it or not. Be very careful what you ask for for Christmas. This movie is an anthology film with five creepy stories, nothing going like completely ridiculous and honestly would be familiar to a lot of people who are fans of hammer horror films from the 1950s and 60s. These creepy tales are then wrapped around sort of a uh, frame story involving a bunch of people getting lost while they're on a kind of an expedition into some kind of creepy old catacombs. And then... All of these creepy tales kind of fit into what people would expect from Tales from the Crypt. They are stories of betrayal and murder and then that little bit of kind of supernatural uh, craziness kind of thrown in. If you are a fan of the 1989 series like me, the very second episode is actually a remake of the very, very first story from this movie. It's called And All Through the House. And of course, uh, it involves Joan Collins being chased around by a demented, evil, uh, psycho Santa Claus. So it's a lot of fun. The other really, really great story in this collection, of course, is Poetic Justice, starring Peter Cushing. Yes, that Peter Cushing. No, not that Peter Cushing. That Peter Cushing. I'm going to give this a gross out score of a six. A fun score of a seven. I'm going to give it an actual scare score of seven because there are some pretty fun moments that happen in the later stories. And a quality cinema score of an eight. This is an actually good movie. I didn't expect it to be. And uh, it's always a good surprise, when you, especially when you watch an older horror movie. And it turns out to be actually a good one. Anyway, uh, Lambo out. We'll see you guys uh, another time on the 13 Days of Spook.